Welcome back to the channel, Captain Classic here reporting for duty, and today I'm going to take you guys on a fishing trip with the Sega Dreamcast fishing controller. Now, this controller is one of my favorite video game accessories ever, uh, and it's definitely the best fishing controller ever made, and there's tons of reasons why. Firstly, you're going to want to hold on to your britches here for this. Okay, listen up. This is the only fishing controller ever made for any console ever to be produced and distributed, manufactured, and made by the official company of its console. For example, the PlayStation had a few different fishing controllers, but none of them were made by Sony. Sega was not afraid, however, to make their own fishing controller because they knew what they were doing. This thing is way ahead of its time for what it is. Why is this thing so great? What's so special about this fishing controller? Well, it works on all of these great fishing games for the Dreamcast. I don't know if I would say great, maybe that's a stretch, but the controller is what makes it worth playing those games obviously and well it, it's great because it feels comfortable um it looks good it uh has all the buttons you need and everything the only thing that it's missing is the vmu slot it does not have a slot to put the memory card into so you have to have the second the actual controller into the second player slot with the vmu inside of it in order to save your data that's a little unfortunate but other than that this thing is just amazing, especially for this thing being made in 1999. This has motion sensing capability. Now, obviously motion sensing was a thing back then, uh, but it wasn't extremely popular. It wasn't really something that video game industries capitalized on until the Nintendo Wii. That's when obviously it became a big deal. And they obviously still use that today, like with the Nintendo Switch. So back then in the 90s, in early 2000s, you didn't see it a whole lot. And it worked very well with this controller. I was surprised to see just how good the motion sensibility is with this controller. For example, if you wanna, you know, jerk it left, jerk it right, or you wanna pull up, all that stuff, it communicates very well with what you're trying to do. This controller is compatible with all of the fishing games made for the Dreamcast. Um, and I have all of them right here. This is Sega Bass Fishing 2, by the way. Uh, it's just a burnt copy. For whatever reason, this game goes for a lot more than the other fishing games on the Dreamcast. I don't know why, but yeah, I have a burnt copy of it. So, so I, technically, I still have the game. I just don't have an official physical copy. I am missing Real Fishing Wild, I believe it's called for the Dreamcast. But that's okay, that's the worst fishing game on the Dreamcast, and it's the only one that isn't made by Sega, so that's alright, we don't need that game. What else is cool about this, though, is it's compatible with more than just fishing games. This thing also works with games like Virtua Tennis and Soul Calibur, if you can believe that much. Anyways, enough rambling and jambling, let's get on to the games, the fishing games here, uh, and see how well it works with the fishing games. All right, so here is Sega Bass Fishing. This is the first one we're going to try out today with the fishing controller. Let's open it up and take a look at it here. Oh, <laughs> they have an advertisement in it for Sega Marine Fishing. How ironic. Oh, I have an idea. Let's check Sega Marine Fishing and see if they have an advertisement in it for Sega Bass Fishing. All right, let's see here and... Oh, oh, Virtua Tennis. Sega Marine Fishing did Sega Bass Fishing dirty. I have an idea. Okay, let's see if Virtua Tennis advertises Sega Bass Fishing. That would make up for it. Then it would go full circle. Oh, wait. Virtua Striker 2. Now, unfortunately, I don't own Virtua Striker 2. Otherwise, we could keep this going on for, like, ever. All right, enough of that. Here is Sega Bass Fishing for the Dreamcast. <laughs> Yeah, the Dreamcast logo. It's the best intro of any video game console. We do original practice options or arcade mode in Sega Bass Fishing. So we have a ton of different types of bait we can use. Spinner bait, pencil bait, vibration bait, ooh. Uh, floating minnows, deep crank, shallow crank, spinners. Yeah, we are. We already kind of. Let's let's do the uh, pencil bait. We'll start off with that. 
Now we move around with this to find a spot to cast, and we don't even have to press the A button. We can simply just cast it out. And now, oh, a fish comes. It's gone. Come on, fishies. I see a couple fish. There's a fish. There's a big one. Oh, we got it. Yeah, fish. Oh. See, I gotta lower the rod. Turn the rod left. I'm turning it left. Line's gonna break. Come on. Tension. Give it tension. No, oh, no, that's not. No. Okay, I'm turning left. I'm turning left. There we go. Woo! -hoo. Got ourselves a fish. That's a big one, ladies and gents. I love this thing. I really do. Oh, we yeah, have a fish. Let's go. Oh my god, I'm already about to break my line. That was fast. Come on. He wants it. He wants it. Yes. All right. Turn the rod. All right. Ah. Turning it right. Go oh, over it. Ah. Holy mama. Oh, yep, yep. To the right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Woo -hoo. Average size. There's nothing wrong with an average size. Yeah! Oh, this is a huge fish. Come on. Only the captain can catch this one. Oh! Yeah! Woo! Some hot reeling. Oh, a big one! Alright, let's move on and try another game. How about Sega Bass Fishing 2? So Sega Bass Fishing 2, this is considered basically like the holy grail of fishing games on the Dreamcast. So the graphics are slightly improved in the second game. Uh, I can see that right off the bat. It looks like it's a little more detailed as far as where you can cast and stuff. I like that. Let's see if that... Oh! Okay. Oh, you have to press the A button to get a precise casting location. And then it works. There we go. I do like the cinematic a little bit more in this one. The reeling is a lot smoother, a lot more smooth in this one than it is in the original, I will say. I like how it tells you how far out the line is as well. You got the time, all that good stuff. Okay, I can see why people do prefer this one over the original. I don't see a fish in sight though, I have to be honest. I see no fish. Let's cast it back out. Oh, we have to actually look at the map. And we can move around a lot more in this one. Okay, we can move around the whole lake. That's pretty cool. I still see no fish. I see zero fish in this entire game. Try a crankbait, I guess. Deep crank. We're gonna find a fish. I, I get it, like some fish won't take certain bait, but I don't even see any fish. So what does the bait matter if I can't even see a fish? I'm sure if I took my time with this a little more, I'd actually be able to you know, figure out the game a little bit more and, uh, see, that's the problem. You can't just kind of pick up and go with this one and just start getting right into the fishing action, which is, uh, kind of the bad thing about trying to be so realistic in Sega Bass Fishing 2. I, I mean, I'm sure it's a great game. I know it is, definitely, but, uh, I think I actually prefer the first one a little bit more just because of that. Uh, but one thing I don't like is the lack of fish. The lack of fish is not good in a fishing game. The controller's great though. It works very well. And that's that's the main thing we're reviewing here, not the game. All right, now it's the time we've all been waiting for, Sega Marine Fishing. Here we go. We have saved potentially the best game for last. Sega Marine Fishing. Hopefully this one is a banger. 
I'm looking for action-packed fishing adventures. Not waiting around, hoping a fish comes. Worrying about the time of day and which lures to use. I just want to be able to freaking cast this thing out, catch big freaking fish with awesome rocking tunes. And so far this one has it. I'm liking it already. I think we have hope. Arcade, there is an arcade option, which is a good start. All right, gives us a description of what kind of fish there are. Catch fish to get points, that's what I like to hear. All right. Why is it telling me I can do better? I haven't even, I barely started. You can uh, tilt the camera in the water, I do like that. I actually do see fish. Oh, there we go, yeah! Oh, whoa. All right, a little too fast. I guess a nice slow reel with this one. There's good rock music in this one. That's a good sign. Turn it left. I'm turning it left. It, trust me, it's left. It's as left as it's going to go. Time's up. Damn, I didn't even catch anything. We'll come back to it. You're about to die though. That's not a threat, the battery's low. That was a far cast. Oh yeah, there we go. Whoa. Yeah, you don't reel as fast in this one as you do in Sega Bass Fishing. Yeah! Come on! Okay, now we're reeling fast. There we go. Good fish. Eighteen pounder! Overall, I wouldn't say these games are great. I think they're good for fishing games. But I mean... How good are fishing games? Hey, there we go. Yeah! Yeah. Whoa! Too hard there. Go with the rock. There we go. Yeah! Oh! We got a big Oh! Oh, I ran out of time while catching the world's biggest fish. That is bull. I think in Sega Bass Fishing, it at least lets you catch the fish first. Maybe not, though. Alright, well, let's continue. I like how it just continues where you left off. Here we go. Is that the boat? What do we got? Woo! Oh, that's a fish! Yeah. Yeah, you gotta jerk it around, make it look like it's realistic. The fish like that. They're attracted to it. They're attracted to my fishing skills, the fish are. And there you have it. That's Sega Marine Fishing for the Sega Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Cast the fishing rod. Sega Marine Fishing is pretty good. The soundtrack's awesome. I think it's better than Sega Bass Fishing too. I don't know why that one goes for so much. And with that, I want to thank you guys once again for watching the show and tuning in. I want you to tune in next time because it's going to get even better with every episode. Hopefully that's the plan. So if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Uh, and with that, I will see you guys on the next episode. See ya.